Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Saving with Talis. In this video, I'm gonna be changing for the very first time this refrigerator filter, it's a Bosch filter. And I ended up getting the um, brand because I've had this refrigerator for s over seven years and I've never had to change the filter. So all refrigerators pretty much look the same, um, the Bosch refrigerators. The filter is up here. Now, if you see, it says pull, but when you put your fingers in there, which kind of makes sense that you would kind of pull down, that's not how it works. That's just like really too simple for the instructions. So what you do is you reach like way back here and you push forward and then this comes up. Okay, so like I said, this is my very first time changing it. And I'm having a hard time, so hold on. Well, I don't know. I'm having a hard time. Oh, this is where you put the date. I like to see when the date was for the other one. And as you can see, let's see. It doesn't say here how to, if you have to twist it or, oh yeah, twist to remove. Um, and it has the phone number where you can get the replacement, but that's it. Okay, so according to the instructions, let's see, it says that you rotate the filter counterclockwise 90, about 90 degrees, and then you remove the filter and insert the, un the new unpackaged filter. Okay. And then this is for the ice maker. We've never had to change the filter for the ice maker. I actually didn't even know that there was one, but the ice maker tastes pretty good, so I'm not even gonna touch it. Okay, so let's go back to the fridge. Okay, so I'm having my little helper here who is super excited about this, and he's having a hard time too. Counterclockwise. Oh my gosh, he looks like he got it. If, if a 12 year old can do it, anybody can do it. Um, that thing stayed back there, so I don't know how that works. Okay, so this is a new one, and the top looks like that. And that's what it looks like. So you just kind of insert it, and then twist it. It has to be kind of straight in, the other way. There you go. Ooh, wait, you heard some hissing. Hold on. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and then you just push it up and then slide it back. It's actually not that hard. It's pretty simple. And that's it. There you have it. That's how you insert. Okay, so okay, so we have the filter in there, and so one thing that you're supposed to do is after changing the filter, you have to dispense water for at least 2.25 2 gallons for about three minutes and throw the water away. And that's just to ensure that it cycles through and everything is gets washed out. Um, right now, it tastes pretty bad, which is why we got a filter. But um, we're gonna start doing this and we will have clean, fresh water again. And like I said, I bought the one that I had for the Bosch because we haven't had to replace it. This, it's over seven years old that so we've been living here and this refrigerator was here before we moved here. So I don't know how old it is, but I've never had to change it, which is why I went and I got the same brand. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you learned something, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell in the bottom so you can be alerted to other videos in my channel. Thanks for watching. Oh, and stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.